What up, tubers? Welcome back to another draft here on Arena. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out cardkingdom.com slash newmot for all your magic card needs. If we get a few hundred of you to sub, and you're not already subbed, we'll hit that 75,000 mark. So thanks for that. Let's jump into this Outlaws of Thunder Junction draft. We've opened a couple of really cool cards. Stoic Sphinx, just a good magic card. But then we have Cruel Ultimatum, which is also just a good magic card, but really, really freaking fun. And um, a couple days ago, I guess, the video, I took an early Cruel Ultimatum, said I was going to force it, and then had to abandon it. Um, God, I am debating taking it here. There is a chance it wheels, for the record, but... Oh, man, I really just want to first pick it and roll. Now, the correct pick is going to be the Sphinx. And then after that, probably like Repulse, man, another really, really good card, but <sighs> let's do it. Throw everything you know out the window, because I am a silly person. What do we take to follow up with? I think we're going to go with either, well, it might just be the Desperate Bloodseeker here. I like the crew. Um, but this, I think, is meant more for an aggressive deck. And if I'm drafting Cruel Ultimatum, I'm not necessarily looking to be aggressive. If this was a pick one, pack one, what would I be taking? Back for more, or maybe Bandit even? But we first pick Cruel Ultimatum. I'm going to make it work this time. So let's second pick that Bloodseeker. Any of the Grixis lands are going to be high pickups, but I don't think Conduit Pylon type lands are going to be... Um, what we want to be doing. I'm okay with taking Hypothesizzle. I don't think this card is fantastic, but I do think it's solid enough. And it goes online with our colors. Let's see, again, not the right land. Some more good green here. Shackle Slinger is okay. Kind of like taking like some early tempo, like failed fording. Skullduggery is great uh, if you have a bunch of creatures or if you have creatures to use with it. I don't think Skullduggery is very good if you don't have very many creatures, right? Take the Falls also solid. Okay, I'll just take the Bounce spell here. Maybe Discerning Peddler now. Yeah, we would have some sick green going around. Throw from the saddle, one of the best green commons. We'll take the Peddler though. We do want to try to be black at the base for uh, Cruel Ultimatum, but that, that's not too much of an issue if we can just get the Grixis lands, which we are not doing. Corner Surprise here, a fine pickup for six picks. So is Highway Robbery. I guess this might be better off as a Highway Robbery than Mourner Surprise in this deck. Mm. Bad news, we haven't seen any of the good cheap black or red removal. And we haven't seen any Grixis land, so... This might be a little bit of a spew of a draft, but... I'm going to make the damn Cruel Ultimatum work, okay? It's just too fun not to. Plenty of ways to also um, get extra value with Cruel Ultimatum. There are some ways to, like, copy this card. There are ways to flash it back. There are ways to put cards from your graveyard back in your library. It's just something so... <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> so fun about trying to cast a Cruel Ultimatum. Ideally, when you draft this card, though, you're already in, like, a good Grixis shell. Got a bunch of good control elements and whatnot, good fixing. holding up here. Where are my packs at? Oh no. We're getting a pick seven villainous wealth. 
Oh, God, I really wish I'd been taking all those good green cards. We would have had a couple of the bandits for mana. Oh, man. I mean, this card is even more fun than Cruel Ultimatum and honestly better and easier to cast. Shoot, I hope we wheel some of those green cards because I would be fully on plan with ditching Cruel Ultimatum even though I said I was just going to try to force it. I mean, we could try to... So the Cruel is two of the three colors towards... Or rather, the Villainous Wealth is two of the three colors towards Cruel Ultimatum. Passing a prickly pear here. Surgical extraction's no good. Um... Okay, well, this is going to be a messy draft. God, I'm getting so punished for not taking those good green cards early on. Because <sighs> I think Sultai value is actually one of the better decks in the format anyways. I'm not a big fan of Trick Shot, but I suppose I might be able to play it. I'm still going to try to play the Cruel Ultimatum. We are going to go multicolor for real. I need to pick all of the duels, though. And the thing is, I don't think we've seen many of the good duels. Right? Back for more? Wheeling 2? Yeah, that's gross. Okay. Okay, I think maybe we're going to go like blue-black, and that way the splash of red and green is not so problematic. I mean, Hypothesis would be fine to play still, it's just not the best. Random 3-drop is fine. Four power three drop at that. I know what's gonna happen. We're not gonna get any fixing. And then I'm gonna end up cutting the red and just being really sad, but maybe we can get a good Sultai list out of it. Like I said, I think wealth is just a lot more fun than uh Cruel Ultimatum is. Ah. So sad. What picks were those bandits? They were they would have been like 10, 11 and something, right? So I guess we can't get those. Oh, no, no, no. They tw Wow. That's huge. Wheeling one of the uh, hard bristle bandits. Okay. That gives me hope. Actually, is this card good? Spells you cast from your graveyard. Or from exile cost two less. Plotting cards from your hand cost two less. I guess that doesn't really do anything right now. That was a huge pickup of the bandit, though, that's for sure. All right, pack two. Uh, one last job. It's not very good. We do have some decent choices here. Primal Might as the bonus sheet card. This card is fantastic. Really good scalable removal spell. Sure Shot's uh, great for red-green. There's another throw from the saddle. There is a double... Uh, no, not, not double off-color, but... A, an eroded canyon here that we might want to take. That'd be really strange to take it over Primal Might, though. I think Primal Might is just a little bit too good. Now, if this was a Sultai land, I might take it, but like I said, there is a very good chance that I end up cutting the uh, Ultimatum. Oh, Roxanne, too, huh? Roxanne is very good as well. Hmm. We also have the safe play of just taking the Spinewoods Paladin, which in a deck like this is fantastic, right? Just a big body that buys you a lot of time. But I guess Roxanne is also fixing. And you know what? We're having fun. What the hell? I am not a big fan of Generous Plunder. I think the card is just okay. But this would be, I mean, it would be another splash. 2-2 two, two Menace for 2. That's a good base. You can create a treasure at the beginning of your upkeep. If you do, your opponent gets a treasure. And then whenever it attacks, it deals damage to defending player with the number of artifacts they control. So it's it's not a bad two drop, don't get me wrong. But I think here we have too many better choices. 
we have jagged barons, we have a um, clear shot, we have patient naturalist, all really, really good here. It's going to be between one of these two, the land or the naturalist. I think the naturalist is actually a really high pickup because if we're going to be baseline Sultai, this gets good graveyard value. Plus, it is kind of fixing on its own, right? Yeah, I'm going to take the naturalist. I think it's better fixing than the land is, but both were good. Archive trap. <laughs> we're not doing that. We have a treasure dredger here, which is actually decent fixing on a two drop. The Gardener would be an okay fixer if I really wanted. Aloe Alchemist, just a good two drop as well. Yeah, we'll take the dredge. I, I don't know if I'm, I'm going to end up splashing the uh, Hypothesis. Like I would venture not. I think green-black at its base is where we want to be. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Another Naturalist. We do need to get some more Graveyard Interaction, though. Right now, I only have the one Mourner Surprise. So if I can get that uncommon that puts uh, cards from your... Yeah, this one right here. Perfect. Oh, I probably have to take Desert's Dew over this thing, but this is one of the cards I was talking about. Two mana 04, put a card from your graveyard on the bottom of your library. Get enough self-mill cards and whatnot, you know? But uh, the cheap removal's too good. That was a really good pack for us. This is another really good choice here. I mean, I could just take the Consuming Ashes, but Pillage the Bog is fantastic in a deck like this, I feel like. Look at the top X cards of your library. X is twice the number of lands you control. Put one of them in your hand and the rest on the bottom. Ah, removal. Even Silver, silver Deputy is fine. Eh, I should probably just take the removal here. That is not the land we're looking for. There is a chance I play a 1-1 Death Touch, just as an early roadblock. Yeah, I mean, it looks exactly like I was talking about. We're probably going to cut the Cruel Ultimatum here. Sure Shot is so good. Splashing Roxanne, I might as well splash that too, right? Yeah, green, black, splashing red, blue. Stricter on the, or Contractor on the wheel is great. I don't think we'll be playing that. Chance I splash the Metamorphic Blast here. I need to get some uh, top end for pack three. Cactarantula, some of those Paladins. How's my removal looking? I have Consuming Ashes, Roxanne. Back for more Gigapede now. Deserts do Primal Might. Not doing terrible on removal. Hmm. <sighs> I don't like this card, but I don't think it's bad. Like, if you get the two-for-one, which you often do, pretty damn good. All right, pack three. Ancient Cornucopia. Whenever you cast a spell that's one or more colors, you gain one life for each of that spell's colors. Do this only once each turn. We also have an Outcaster Trailblazer. Which is probably better. Yeah. I mean, this is continuous fixing, but this fixes, if you plot it, right, you can then play it on the uh, for free later on for one mana, plus the card draw effect is really good. Another throw from the saddle being passed. Another Sphinx! Jeez, we would have had two Sphinx. But there's a lock picker and a bristling backwoods. I suppose since I'm not playing the Cruel Ultimatum, I don't need to take the Lock Picker, and the land is just smart at this point. This pack's kind of bad. Heartless Pillage. I guess I could take Snakeskin Veil. Really, the only creature I want to protect right now is Roxanne, though. 
Suppose we could take derailment for some more interaction. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine taking Veil. Another lock picker, Thornado, another Bristling Backwoods. Yeah, just play it safe again. More deserts. There's a Paladin. Fantastic. Sack any number of permanents you control and draw that many cards. It's kind of neat. Where is the Villainous Wealth Fixing? Void Rend? No. How good is Tumbleweed Rising in our deck? We have a couple of okay-sized creatures, but possibly not enough. Maybe just take another 2-2 Lifelinker for two. So it's pretty high upside. Actually, I'm okay taking the Rising. We have a couple of four power two drops as well, or three drops rather. Well, once again, I take Cruel Ultimatum saying I'm going to play it, and then guess what? We don't play it. So that's all right. Another pal Paladin there is great. I'm willing to sacrifice the Villainous Wealth. Uh, sorry, the Cruel Ultimatum for Villainous Wealth. And again, we saw like very, very few Grixis lands. So, could be that somebody is in Grixis and just snatching them up, you know? It was nice to get the double red-green land here, but... Uh, I think we saw maybe one Grixis land the entire draft, right? And then like the Conduit pylon, but... So how's our fixing again? I still need... Mm. I still need more ways to interact with the graveyard. We still just have the one Mourner Surprise. Like, if we mill our Villainous Wealth, it's gonna feel bad, but... Like, Badlands Revival or something would be so good. Okay, I, I'll, I will take the, uh, the Gardener here. That's fine. I wouldn't call Gardener good fixing, but it is fixing. So let's double check. We have Bandit for fixing. We now have the Gardener. The two Naturalists can fix. Trailblazer fixes for one turn. Feeling throw from the saddle is kind of great. Yeah, I, I think I can cut the Ankle Biter. Still 14 creatures with one... Tumbleweed. Another gardener if we want it. I love that this is a format where Villainous Wealth is extremely castable and quite good. Think about uh, LCI or MKM or something. He would not be able to cast this, or at least not often. I guess the Mind Rot could be good here too. Oh, I actually I have the Treasure Treasure for fixing too. I actually have quite a bit of fixing, don't I? All right, seems fun. So we'll throw in one island. Actually, do I have a way to tutor a basic? I guess I don't have a way to tutor a basic. But one island. I probably don't even need any mountains. Just go up on green and black here. So eight black, eight green, two red, one blue. And that's just in land. And then for other fixing, we have Treasure Maker, Mana Dork, Mana Dork, Potential Treasure Maker, or Dig You Closer to the Land, Pseudo Mana Dork. Yeah, I'm in for it. Not quite where we wanted to be at the end result of the draft, but I think overall, good enough. All right, let's give this baby a shot. And looks pretty good. Pretty, pretty good, I'd say. We have a turn two Desert Stew for three if we want to. 
all of our colors. I don't think there's any reason for us to hold the deserts, right? I don't have any ways to utilize the crimes being turned on. That looks like a great target for a removal spell right off the bat. So they're on red-black uh, crimes, most likely, or red-black outlaws. No, three color. Ooh. Now that we drew Roxanne, I have to play the Gardener out here. If Gardener doesn't die, Roxanne on turn four is going to be disgusting. Nice. So they're going to put a little bit of pressure on me, but... Oh, and there's the wealth, too. Remember, this makes meteorites, and meteorites add two mana for us, so... This is almost the perfect curve. Like, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I, I can already Villainous Wealth for five. But I think we're just going to uh, load up and pass. That's pretty fun. Um, all right, let's go for the big prime. Well, no, I'll go for the big villainous wealth. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's do it for six. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad, he says. All right, well. We already lived the dream in our very first game, so I guess it's kind of just downhill from here, but good beats. We peaked too early in life. Uh, yeah, this hand's good. Needs to find one land, but we're on the draw, so... Shouldn't be too hard, right? Now, this is a, a really good trailblazer, isn't it? Ooh, the dog. Ooh, the perfect draw, though! Okay. Turn to bandit. If this doesn't die, we are going to do a lot of good stuff here. Even if it does die, we still have a good curve, but this just makes it even better. Right, they're going to plot and attack for two and make their Prairie Dog a 3-3. Three, three. I'm going to go for the value of plotting the Outcaster, or the, yeah, the Outcaster here. Even though that would be a really good turn to just play out the Sure Shot, because that has Ward 2. I think I like this line. Just going for a 2-2, two -two Sheriff. Huh. Passing, okay. We're going to double spell here. Drover Grizzly, draw a card. Two Patient Naturalist. Two lands and a Paladin, which is really good for the back for more. Alright, I feel I feel like we're crushing once again. So they can sack their sheriff to kill my trailblazer, I guess. Sure. I guess I'm just going to kill the prairie dog. Oh, well, if I do this, they can actually still trade with the Lawbringer, can't they? But 
This will be eight, so they won't be able to trade. Sure, no blocks. Wanted Griffin. It's a good draw. I'm actually pretty happy to race here. I guess I didn't need to give Trample. We back the 4 4 to block, but I don't think that's too problematic. We can back for more our Paladin main phase next turn, and it's going to gain haste from the sure shot. Saddle like this. Oh, it would have gained haste. Right. Oh, well, if I'm fighting the 3 2, we didn't want to do that anyways. Never mind. I guess I could have fought. No, anything I fight, they would still have something, so I guess that's irrelevant. Actually, would I have pushed lethal damage, though? Maybe I missed lethal by not. If I crew the Grizzly with the Naturalist, I would have had 5, 9, 14 trample damage. No, that wouldn't have been enough, but it would have been close. Alright, some sequencing mistakes, or at least, if not sequencing, uh, not thinking about it mistakes. And I have been missing out on Bandit to activation as well, and throwing away mana, but the thrown away mana hasn't mattered. <laughs> Alright, a little bit too sloppy though, it's too early, I'm still finishing my coffee, give me a break. 2-0. Sounds good. Need to find some ways to uh, draw some extra cards with this trail blazer. This is kind of a two mana 4 2 in a sense, right? If you can utilize mana afterwards, you cast on turn three, then you float a mana. Or whenever you cast it, that is. Ooh. That's pretty nice. Alright, let's plot our 4-2, and now next turn we can go Trailblazer, Tumbleweed Rising, make a 4-4 draw card. Assuming they tap out. If they just pass, I probably don't. For fear of any kind of burn spell. Nice, alright. I mean, they're unlikely to be able to do too much with... One mana. Very good. All right. So we have our surprise in hand, so desperate blood seeker milling ourselves. Potentially get some good value. Sure. We can return that if we want to as well. Though we're probably not going to do that unless uh, we draw some more value first. Destroy target creature if no other creature has greater power. That's fine. Okay. 
a couple of removal spells from opponent. Oh, baby, Roxanne. I do want to turn on the red light. Fantastic draw, of course. Yeah, Roxanne might just take over the game here. Another good draw. Let's mill ourselves first. Primal Might and Contractor. I guess I'm gonna... Get back our contractor and draw a couple cards, sacking the one one that gets made. Nice. You can get to hold up the veil for Roxanne. Not today, friend. Not today. <laughs> Yeah, baby. For some reason, I always think Roxanne's an uncommon, but I guess that's probably a little bit too good to be uncommon. Three and O. Oh. Uh, we're going to be mulliganing that hand. Just doesn't do a thing. That hand is quite a bit better. And I'm pretty easy gonna just pitch a land here. Being on the draw, we have a dredger to make some mana as well. Would have been interesting if we had a third color land. Then we would have had to decide what would have been right, but. It's nice to have the Mourner Surprise in our hand already for any mill value here. I'm gonna kill my dredger. I'm gonna get away Glamour it, sure. We drew three lands in a row. I hope I th mill three lands. Holy crap. There were five lands on top of my deck. We drew three of them. We milled two more immediately. That was a... Uh, I guess I offer trade. I don't mind trading damage here if they want to attack for three. <sighs> we need to find one of our big spells. Trained Erinx is good. Eish. Yeah, really don't. Want to use this mourner surprise on anything this irrelevant? I don't love doing this, but I'm going to make this play. I don't want them to scry and start getting value. The thing is, there's so many bombs in this format, you really... 
kind of need to... That's, I guess, fine. Kind of need to prioritize removal for those bombs, but the Desert Stew doesn't get better than minus four, minus four in our deck, is my thought here. Because I only have the two deserts. Another Glamour. Okay. Good value. They also get to flicker their... Uh... Oh, that doesn't come back until the end of turn. So what they needed to do is they needed to do that on the uh, on my second main phase when I passed priority. Oh, not good. I think I'm going to wait one more turn on the Mourner Surprise in case we draw another self mill effect. We have a couple left. We have another Naturalist. We have the 2-2 um, Lifelinker. Too many lands seen, I guess. Desperate Bloodseeker, that's the card we have. Oh, I hope they mill me. Oh, damn, they didn't. <laughs> People always make that mistake, but... All right, I'm going to take eight... I'm going to keep the Gardener in case we draw Villainous Wealth. Damn it, dude. Alright, well, that's too bad. Um, do we have any more Graveyard stuff? Does it make sense to get back my Naturalist again? No. Oh, I have a back for more. Okay. So, yeah, I should get Naturalist again. Plant, Paladin, and a Consume the Ashes. Alright, so my, my only out, basically, is now going to be drawing Villainous Wealth, which, if we do, we can do it for 7. No, can I math? 8, 9, 10, yeah, 7. That would be very good. Villainous Wealth off the top, assuming my um, Gardener does not die here. Can we do it? Vengeful Townsfolk. Alright, that can just get bigger. Yep, we just need to rip the growth. We actually have an okay double block here with Naturalist and 1-1 one, one on their 3-1. So that'll make the Townsfolk larger, but that's not super relevant. We need to find top deck anyway. Wealth, 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 wealth. Wealth, wealth, wealth. I guess I need to just hard cast that, sad. The creatures in their graveyard, one, two, so they can cast the discard. So we're not dead here. We're close, but we're not dead. 
them playing out their flyer makes the most sense, right? Oh, maybe we are dead now. Because if I have to... Oh, man. Well, now we're hoping they do not attack with very much. Oh, they just had two murders or two removal spells, so it didn't matter anyways. Okay, good beats. Yeah, our draw just did not do anything. Jeez. Okay, another solid enough hand on the draw, so hopefully we can find one or two lands. Blue, red. Our opponent going to be on that double spell life. Grizzly. Wolverine, rather. Um, I guess I'll just lead on Gardener. And if it doesn't die, we get to play Paladin out next turn. Oh, come on. They hit Slick Sequence. Boo. Gross hit. Probably one of their best hits. Brutal. Alright, let's plot our 5-4. Set up for next turn. Plotted a Stitcher. Yeah, that's going to do some work. Yeah, 5-4 and a 5-5 five, five here. Not bad, right? Even get to hold up Snakeskin Veil now. Ugh, man. Them hitting the removal spell for my gardener was so bad. Okay, they only had one spell prior to the Stitcher, which is nice. We're just going to chill out for now. Not in a rush. Another five mana plot. Another Stitcher, sheesh. There's a good hit, okay. I'm going to attack with all here. Oh, I should have played this pre-combat. I made my deserts do worse. God, I would have been able to give minus three, minus three, and kill both of these things. Eh, getting punished. Okay, well, that worked out as I did still get to kill both of them. <laughs> uh. So this is going to give our Rhino Trample next turn. It also blocks the Flyer. Punished and then rewarded. Four, five, yeah, that's pretty big. Oh, and the Strix, too. So they're going to make a 6-6 six, six zombie token this turn? Blech. Let's 
clearly a great draw. Uh, I think I just like going with the Cactus Folk here first. Reach not so hidden anymore these days. Is that a lock picker? Oh, that's gross. I think we're going to plot the uh, contractor here. Because I want to make at least one treasure with the dredger. To give us a blue source for if we draw our uh, wealth. All right, so they get to derail my sure shot and then attack me for three in the air again. Yep. Do they have Archmage's Charm? That's insane. Really? They have Archmage's Charm in their hand. Okay. That's a good draw, but... I'm going to have to bait out. Woof. <laughs> so I think I can probably get them to use the charm on the consuming ashes, or at least I hope I do. Okay. Yeah, if they cast it, they can't hold up charm. Oh, that's right, the pulverizer. All right, well, they don't have charm mana open anymore. So... Oh, unless they topped an island, right? They get to draw a card there. Alright, this is huge. Punch their 2-3 and block their 1-1 one, one that loots. That was a really good turn for us, obviously. So I actually need to kill their Pulverizer with the Ashes. Wow, another really freaking good draw, huh? Now we have the board presence, so they can't just hold up charm anymore. <sighs> Man, gosh darn it. Yeah, they 100% just have charm in their hands. Wait, can't Charm steal tokens? Jesus! I 
we might have been able to pull this off if we drew a spell there. Ugh, man. <sighs> Close, but I have to assume we're dead. Yep, there's the charm. So I think they're just forgetting that they could have stolen my 5-5 five -five a long time ago. Oh, well, that works too. Damn, they gave us a huge opportunity, but their draw was too good. Sheesh. They drew a little bit better than I did. Good deck, though. All right, we're three and two. Three zero into three two. Uh oh. This hand's a little bit awkward. I don't actually have the way to cast Roxanne right now because. A red green is overlapping, but definitely a keep. Let's go ahead and mill ourselves here. Green and black lands milled. Prairie dog. Ooh, very good draw. Damn, was hoping they would not just pass there, but that was a good draw too. I mean, yeah, I think I just get the Roxanne online. Pass again. All right, well. This is pretty good as, uh,. White black doesn't usually have a good way to protect that. That's fine. Wow. Nice to get rid of so many lands, I guess. Baron. Oh, there's the wealth. Okay. Great if we could hit our uh, other desert here. Snakeskin Veil to land. So what do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is only for four right now. Number one more token, man. They're gonna kind of go off with tokens. Nice, there's our other desert. Perfect. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can do Villainous Wealth for five, or I could just Desert's Do and kill their Bertram. That's probably correct. Well, they're just taking it? Bad lad play. Badmir is very good, especially with the tapper. 
Now they get to say, oh, they should have attacked first. I wasn't blocking. All right, we want to hit a land though. But I would just cast the wealth if we. Oh, that's also great, huh? Wealth for five, or bring back our paladin recast. I guess wealth for five looks pretty good. Oh, it looks like we hit a ton of spells, my god. Very nice hits, sheesh. You gotta love it. That was a definite high roll on the wealth. I think my opponent might be uh, going through a tunnel. If you know what I'm saying. No, they're here. All right. They're hovering over cards. <laughs> All right. Ooh, man, double crew. That is good. Are they dead on board though? This doesn't give haste to anything else. It does give trample to the tycoon though. I'm one short of lethal with this attack, and then they're going to gain a bunch of life back with the crew. Hanging on for dear life over there. That'll do her. GG's. Phew. Okay. Yeah, double crew can get out of hand real bad. Every time they have a outlaw die, they drain for two. Got the fourth win, though. Feels good. We've got to Roxanne a bunch of people. We've got to Villainous Wealth a bunch of people. Definitely a keeper. The Grixis colors have arrived. Another crew, okay. Start getting our mana active. They can certainly commit a bunch of crimes here. It's a pretty good draw, actually. It's a very good draw. Let's plot our trailblazer here, pass. And next turn I can Trailblazer into Gigapede. 
kill something and draw a card. Oh man, Raven with double pinger. All right, so we're gonna kill the Raven then. Sheesh, it's gross. This is a lot of peck damage for sure. All right. Nice. Four damage or make a treasure. Or I could just punch one of their duelists right now. I think I'd actually rather punch a duelist. Because I can't afford to really keep letting them ping me for so much, especially when they have the crew draining. So... Oh, they don't have first strike. What am I talking about? That's the other enchantment. That's the uh, knife point that gives first strike. So technically I can be blocking, although we don't want to be making blocks. That's fine. Oh, that would have been nice to have. Now that they use their mana, we're going to pump and kill their duelist. Two, four, six, eight. Oh my god, really? That sucked. Okay. This is gonna drain me for one. I think we're just running out of 3-2 and not sacrificing. Wealth, even for a small amount versus their deck, should have a lot of hits. Oh, Jesus, they have Gisa. All right, let's go. Seven, eight, nine, do this for six. Remember, this has Ward 2 as well as 2 life. Looks like we hit three spells. Probably better to kill a 1 1 here. Alright, I mean, if they brick for a turn or two, we should be okay. It's also a really solid draw. Yeah, let's go. Paladino. And these zombies enter tapped. Nice. <sighs> kind of scary. Five wins.
Ooh, let's mulligan that down to six. All right, I'll keep this one. It's not very good. We are on the draw, so we'll get an extra card. Hopefully, some find some lands. Beautiful. Okay. Bandit turn two. Damn you. Build a land and a consuming ashes. Oh my god. They have one of the most nutty cards here. 5-5 five, five, trample for 4. ETB make 2 food. Whenever attacks you can sack a food. If you do a mill 3 then you can put a permanent from among them into your hand. <laughs> okay. Well, this might be a quick game. Uh, I think I just have to run out the contractor here. <laughs> All right. Well, that's... It is what it is. Sometimes your opponents have the nuts. Crazy. Crazy, crazy draw. All right, um, let's see. We're pretty close to scoop territory, but we're not quite there. Oh, they have a ping land. Sheesh. Not getting much better than this, so might as well attack. Do I have another consuming ashes? I do not. We have a throw from the saddle. Yeah, we have very few ways to deal with a 6-6 six, six Trample beyond just blocking it now. Alright, so they get a land back here. The creatures in their graveyard, three, so they can cast the four mana. 4-2 four, Flyer. So we're going to discard back from, well, I guess I need to get greedy. I probably discard Paladin. And hope I just rip two lands in a row. Actually, even one land. Roxanne unlocks the back for more if we do find a land. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, this is still winnable. <laughs> This is still crazy winnable if they don't have much left over. No touchy Roxanne. Please. Okay.
This is spells or abilities. So if I shoot the Cactarantula, they get to draw a card. I could back for more my Paladin, gain three life, and trade the Paladin for the Cactarantula immediately. I guess one way or another, I'm going to have to let them draw a card, so... Let's do this. Okay. They have four cards in their hand, but we have cleared the worst of it. Villainous Wealth off the top one time. Yeah, that's annoying. They might as well attack for one, yeah. That was a great draw! Okay! <laughs> Right, I'm at seven. No attacks is sus, but I mean, I'm not gonna leave back my three, two. Oh, they have the two, two flyer, maybe? Yep, that's totally what they have. So they should have attacked for one first, then played the... So I should be at six right now, which is actually a huge deal. It changes their... Oh, well, now I have to rip Vel Villainous Wealth and hope that uh, we hit something. For the one time. That ain't it. <laughs> Rise of the Varmins is so good. All right, GG's. Damn. Well, they top-decked a little bit better. But we cleared their board. I mean, given their start... We actually stabilized really well, so. Good beats. Hey, five wins is still pretty solid. No complaints. Again, I think our deck was missing a little bit, but I'm really happy we got to utilize Roxanne and Villainous Wealth multiple times, so. Not a bad showing. As always, friends, thanks for watching. We'll see you back next time. Bye-bye.